here's Adam, the ant, building his home with soil. Like Adam, all life on earth depends on soil. Plants need soil to grow. Some animals build their homes right in the soil. How is this precious soil formed? Soil is formed when rocks are broken down into smaller pieces. This happens through a very slow process called weathering. The broken down materials are carried by wind, water, and ice until they finally come to rest because of gravity. The most common type of weathering occurs when water enters small cracks and pores in a rock. What do you think will happen to the water in winter? In winter, the water in these cracks freezes to become ice. Water expands when it freezes, and the force of the expansion breaks the rock. What do you think happens to the rocks in summer? In summer, the rocks get warm and expand. These changes in temperature can also cause rocks to break into pieces. Rocks break into different sized pieces forming sand, silt, or clay. Sometimes water, oxygen, and other elements in the atmosphere react with the rocks, changing them and breaking them down into small pieces. These pieces are called clay and are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Sand particles are larger than silt or clay, and silt particles are larger than particles of clay. All soil is not the same. Over 70,000 kinds of soil have been found in the United States alone. How long do you think it takes for rocks to break down into soil? Hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years are needed for the rocks to be broken down by weathering. We just learned that rocks break down due to weathering. Rocks break down into sand, silt, and clay. These materials are transported by wind, water, and ice and finally come to rest because of gravity. So, the soil that Adam Ant is building his home with is actually part of a really, really old rock. 